If you want to raise big money, just a stone's throw from the U.S. Capitol, Johnny's Half Shell has been the place to do it for years. It's where politicians come to wine and dine potential campaign donors. Donald Trump has spent a lot of time condemning such exclusive Washington Insider events. The presumptive nominee likes to boast about how he's bankrolling his campaign. I am self-funding my campaign. I'm putting up my own money. But recently, he's changed his tune. That's because he now has to come up with the billion-plus dollars in cold, hard cash to fund his general election efforts. What's he going to do? Well, the New York Times interviewed 50 big-money Republican power players to see if they would open their checkbooks for Trump. So if he threw a fundraiser here at Johnny's, how many would send in their RSVPs with a yes? At this point, only nine of the 50 are definitely in. That includes casino magnate Sheldon Adelson, energy tycoon T. Boone Pickens, and pharmaceutical executive Foster Fries. It looks like the Koch brothers, the bogeymen of the left who spent half a billion dollars on conservative candidates four years ago, will sit this one out. Another deep-pocketed donor, Michael Vlock, called Trump an ignorant, amoral, dishonest, manipulative, misogynistic, slandering, hyperlitigious, isolationist, protectionist blowhard. We'll mark him a no. Trump has struck a deal with the Republican Party to host 50 fundraisers where he can receive checks of nearly half a million dollars per person. Trump's first event in California comes in at a relative bargain, $25,000 per person or 1,923 of Johnny's whisper dry martinis. Thank you. Oh, and if Trump comes back to Capitol Hill, he won't be able to book a space here at Johnny's. They're picking up and moving across town to a smaller location. Trump will have to find someplace else to pop the corks and pocket the checks.